Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video, we're going to be talking about Radiant Technologies, why RTI is important to Aurora. So anyways, as you are aware, I went out yesterday, um, on Monday, I made a video yesterday regarding how Aurora is struggling on the oil front, on the MJ oil front, and oil right now is selling like hotcakes. And the consumer sediment is shifting from dry bud to a uh, more edible slash like oil products. And uh, and right now, Aurora is lacking in uh, oil and Radi Radiant can help Aurora extract more oil. But the problem with Radiant right now is they are struggling. If they weren't struggling, they wouldn't raise... You, they wouldn't raise five point seven five million dollars, uh, at twenty cents. They would raise it at, at a higher price. But they're desperate, and they raised it at twenty cents. My assumption, anyways, my assumption is they were desperate. But there's a, been a lot of companies lately that's been raising money at their fifty-two week low. So you could call it act of de desperation, sure, but um. You know, it's, sometimes people won't let uh, another company raise money unless they, it's a significant discount. And twenty cents was a significant discount. I bought some yesterday at around nineteen cents. It fell more, so I bought some more at seventeen cents today. Uh, I don't know if it'll continue to go down or go up, but I know that Aurora has an investment in RTI right now. I could be wrong on this number, but I believe that they have an uh they have about thirty two or thirty three million shares of RTI, and they have options to buy more, but at a much higher price. But you know, I I don't know at the end of the day what RTI is gonna do. I know RTI is a necessary business, uh, and if they if they came out with some major news catalyst like I don't know uh they are providing rec. To the rec market or something, or uh, they get a partnership deal, uh, or Aurora in decides to invest more money into them. You know, anything's possible. The stock could skyrocket. Earnings could skyrocket the company. I think right now the company is focusing on uh, just being profitable instead of growth. They basically shut down all their facilities. But I will be making a more dedicated video on RTI. I just think that RTI is a very important company to Aurora. And you know, RTI hasn't been this low. I mean, it's at 8, 17 cents. The lowest it's been is around 13 cents. I think if it goes down to 13 cents again, that is a steal. But again, that's my opinion. I don't know. May, like maybe the company is secretly going bankrupt, and this five, almost six million dollars they raise is uh, won't help them. But I don't think so. I honestly think that the company is in a financial like the balance sheet is very stable because they raised an additional six million dollars, and they they also raised more capital before that. So I think. Uh, Radiant has a decent amount of capital on their balance sheet, a decent amount of cash, and I think that uh, this is near the bottom. And I mean, it could go, it could go lower. Of course, I don't know where it can go, but you know, the stock was once at uh, almost two dollars Canadian, and I back back in two thousand seventeen, I bought into RTI around 52 53 cents it skyrocketed to almost two dollars I sold out at a dollar fifty ish um, you know I made a decent coin off of it and right now the stock price is at 18 cents it's it's too attractive of an opportunity for me not to uh, slowly put my money in I, I don't know where the stock price is going to go short term I it could go all the way down to 10 cents. Uh, if it does, I'll just buy. I'll just buy more because I believe that eventually this company will have a rebound in stock price. And if you can capture that moment, you can make a ton of money off this stock. But this is not financial advice. This is just my opinion. If you want to see my uh, how many shares I currently have in RTI Radiant Technologies, please give me two hundred thumbs up for this video. Uh, then I will definitely show it. Why? Uh, why not a hundred? Uh, because hundred's easy. I want. I want. You know. I really want those thumbs up. So 
I want 200 thumbs up. If you give me 200, I promise you guys I will share my position in RTI. Uh, but, uh, you know, if it keeps going lower, I'm definitely going to keep buying more because I think that this is near the bottom and there's only upside really. But the company could be secretly going bankrupt. I don't think so. Uh, I think uh, they will uh, generate profit eventually. And I think eventually the stock price will go back up. And I also think that the MJ sector will will, uh, will reflect it. And right now, uh, oil companies are in high demand. And this is one of the cheapest oil companies out there. And again, Aurora has a $37, uh, $32, million, uh, $32 million shares investment in RTI. They didn't sell the RTI position. They still have it. That means that Aurora is still interested in Radiant Technologies uh, technology essentially for extracting uh, THC from dry bud. But again, the like the stock market is risky. I don't know if, if it'll keep going down. It could keep going down. Uh, the, the one positive right now is there is a seriously a huge amount of volume lately on the stock. I don't know why there's so much volume and the stock price seems to just like trade sideways. It should be moving up with this severe amount of volume, but it's just trading sideways, which makes absolutely no sense in my mind. But, you know, at the end of the day, I don't control the stock price. Uh, I think rich people control the stock price, but uh, it, retail investors could control the stock price at these prices. I mean, at 17 cents. But, you know, I don't know. And if it and if RTI ever goes back to a dollar, you're looking at a five x return on investment. Will it go to a dollar? Anything's possible in the stock market. I mean, I can't say no. It'll never go back to a dollar. I I think there's a possibility because it's it's been at a dollar before. April 11, two thousand nineteen, has been at a dollar. It's been at two dollars before. Could get back to two dollars, and and this could be a ten x return on investment. That's if you're willing to hold on all the way up to two dollars. Most people would probably sell out at a double. So if it goes to like thirty four cents, people will probably end up selling out. But uh, I don't know at the end of the day what the stock price is going to move. But I think that at seventeen cents is an attractive opportunity. That's my opinion, anyways. I don't. This is not financial advice i just want to remind you guys not financial advice so bet at your own risk because you know you never know right the company could secretly be being going bankrupt it's probably not but you know it could be uh aurora is down 11 cents after hours aurora will probably affect this stock price negatively if aurora keeps going down rti will keep going down and uh, it'll make it more of an attractive price point. I'm actually more interested in buying RTI than Aurora because I, I think RTI is a more of an attractive investment than Aurora because if RTI went back to like a dollar, that would be like 5x return on investment. Aurora could go to $75 and that could be a 5 ton return on investment. But uh, if, it, if Aurora goes to like 75 U, US dollars, RTI is probably going to go to like a dollar US. So... I'm more interested in buying RTI than Aurora right now simply because it's a lot cheaper and it's near the bottom. So, you know, I bottom fishing right now for RTI. But anyways, uh, like I said, I will be making a more dedicated video over the weekend on RTI and why I like RTI over other companies. So, yeah, stay tuned for that. So uh, canopy growth right now is uh, trading neutral after hours, not really doing anything. Today it had a massive dip and then it got bought up. So let's see where tomorrow goes. I think tomorrow is going to be another red day. Could be wrong. We'll see. Tomorrow is the last day you can gamble on canopy because canopy is having earnings. And I guarantee you, not guarantee you, but I am... 90% positive that Canopy will move after after uh, on Friday when the market opens. It's either going to move up dramatically or down dramatically. That's what I think is going to happen on Friday. We'll see if that is the scenario. If Canopy goes down, everything will go down because Canopy is the leader. And Canopy would be considered the Bitcoin of the MJ industry. And if Canopy goes down... 
So will Roy, so will Ture, so will Afria, all, probably some of the multi-state operators. Everything across the board will go down. So just, uh, you know, that's what I think. Ture, Ture is uh, up two cents after hours. Not too much to say about that. Afria is uh, not doing too much. It's trading sideways. I carrot. Wow, look at I carrot. Look at my gamble with I carrot. Up 11 cents after hour. I mean, up 11 cents today. Uh, I bought in at 24 cents and I am up at least 20 or 30 percent on my position. Very, very happy with this short term investment. Uh, I should have bought more when it went to 20 cents. Too late now. Uh, I should have bought some more early this morning when that news came out. Would have made a nice little profit, but too late now. We're, uh, only the f only future though. Know, let's see what happens tomorrow. I'm thinking tomorrow is gonna be another green day. It could be wrong. We'll see what happens. Haven't taken profit yet. So uh, Dow today the market was green. Not too much to say about that. The spy is heading back to. I'm I'm I'm, t I'm calling it, man. I called it a while back. I said that the stock market will hit its 52 week high in the summertime. Blue sky breakout. A lot of people were saying the stock market will crash. I said the opposite. I said we're gonna go blue sky breakout. That's why I am investing back into the market because I think the summertime will be good. But you know, MJ MJ stocks might do the opposite of the market, so it doesn't matter. Canopy needs to do well on the earnings report because they are the leader. And if Canopy does well, the entire market, the entire MJ market does well. Uh, unless the unless the the market crashes, then even if Canopy's earning does well, I think Canopy will go down too. Tesla right now trading sideways. Not too much to say about that. Space uh space is down fifty two cents after hours. Again, not too much to say about that. Neo had a really nice day today, up nine point one six percent. Hertz had a really nice day today, up 136%. I made a video on it just before the market opened. I said that, you know, this could be either this is a dead cat bounce or it's a buying opportunity and it turned out to be a buying opportunity because if you bought right in the morning, you know, right in the morning, you would, you could have made 70 to possibly 21%, uh, 20, 20, Either 20 to 100% of your money if you were day trading. No, sorry, 70 to around 20% of your money if you were day trading. Uh, but, you know, and that's hard to do, right? To have one day to have like a 70% return on investment. That's something that's really hard to do. Uh, uh, Grubhub, Grubhub is neutral after hours. Not too much to say about that. VTIQ, VTIQ doesn't seem to want to drop. It seems to want to keep going higher. Rich people are manipulating it to the upside. Uh, Uber right now is down three cents. Uh, Beyond Meat uh, today had a rough day, and I think it's starting a downtrend. We'll see if that is going to be the scenario moving forward. GameStop had a nice day today, up 6.18%. I hope that it keeps going up because I'm an investor in GameStop and I hope that GameStop makes me a decent return on investment. VTIQ, VTIQ, I uh, already talked about that. Uh, a AMD, AMD is uh, up 3 cents. NVIDIA, NVIDIA is neutral after hours. Australia's capital had a a, a, a nice day today. Um, not too much to say about that. It, it could keep going up. It could keep going down. I have a small position in Australia's um, liberal liberal health science today was uh, it had a tank and if you bought the the dip, you would have made a ten percent return on investment. Vero Health stock today was. Trading sideways, uh, Cresco, Cresco Labs had a nice pop today, 4.93% near the end of the day. Cura Leaf, Cura today was trading sideways. True, True is trading sideways today. Uh, Anthus. I think had a decent day today. Wow, up eighteen point two eight percent. That's that's pretty big. 
Men Men uh, was down today at 1.5 cents. Not too much to say about that, but you know, I guess at the end of the day, you know, I was bearish on Ianthus because they owe so much money, but it still went up, so you know, I have hope that RTI will do the same thing. I, you know, they raised some money. They're not in, at least I don't think they're in a huge financial distress. They are having, they should be having earnings coming up here very soon. So I can see exactly what kind of financial distress they're in. But uh, yeah, anyways, uh, Nordic American Tanker uh, had, uh, had the ex-dividend day today and the stock went up. So that was kind of amazing. I think the reason why is because oil was down today and because oil was down, uh, Nordic American tankers went up. But anyways, that's it for my video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for future updates and have a great day. Bye.